time no see. There's been a lot of shuffling going around in the garage. I've been doing a little bit of upgrading, a little bit of housekeeping, cleaning some stuff up. I got rid of the Yamaha YZ85 and I'm working on getting rid of the XR500R. Just to ride it. Um, in their place comes the 2017 KTM RC390. I think this is going to be a great bike to develop on the street before turning it into a full-blown track bike. The previous owner did let me know that it had been drinking some coolant, so most likely we're going to have to pull the head off, have that decked, and get a new uh, head gasket for it. There's some interesting livery going on, may or may not stay, I do have a four-year-old daughter, she probably wouldn't appreciate a whole bunch of waifu stickers all over it. Yeah. Not so much. All right, let's take a little walk around this bike. I kind of want to go over what it has and what I want to do with it for the immediate future. Up front, we have this light bar instead of the OEM headlight. I got the OEM headlight from the previous owner in a box full of parts, so I'll probably slap that back on if it's ever doing some street duty and get rid of the light bar. We've got, let's see, some driven halo clip-ons. See if I can get in there and kind of see. Yeah, right, those driven halo clip ons. The only thing about those is I really want to replace the turbo clamp. It kind of drives me nuts to see them underneath this with this hole here. It purely aesthetic, but you know, something I want to take care of. And moving down from that, we got some crash protection. We got that case saver and some frame sliders, one on each side. And back here we've got a nice full Yoshimura exhaust. It's got a little bit of damage here, not too bad. I guess it was uh, done in a previous tip over, not on this bike. Um, the owner bought it from somebody else that had tipped it over. And uh, yeah, for this, I do want to remove these rear passenger pegs. So I'm going to have to build a rear exhaust hanger for this. That shouldn't be too bad. And moving up, we've got a Taiga rear super sport seat with this nice super cushy foam that doesn't move at all when I touch it. I love this seat. The only thing is that it's unpainted. So I'm gonna end up pulling all these stickers off and painting it just cause it drives me crazy to see it bare. And while I'm doing that, I'll take care of some of these little holes and uh, some of the scuffing. Walking around, because it's got the tiger tail, this little LED strip right here is the rear brake light. <laughs> It's so pretty ingenious, I haven't seen that before. Coming around the other side, we've got these grips on both sides of the bike. Uh, it's kind of peeling up on this side, so we might have to address that. Maybe I could just get something in there and kind of restick it, not sure. Those aren't too bad to replace though. And I do believe there is a tune, one of the little tuner boxes in here. I'll have to tear into it to see exactly what it was. I forgot what he said. And uh, yeah, so that's all the mods that I currently see, at least, on this bike. I think this is actually the most modern bike I've ever owned. After this, it's the, I don't know, 2006 Yamaha R6 or something like that. So I know that these dashes are like super ugly and everybody hates them, but I do love to watch it just start up. That's pretty cool. I did have the forethought of taking some cool beauty shots of this girl out in the light, so let's take a look at those real quick. So, first things first, fairings are going to come off, going to look at the coolant lines, make sure they're all good. Realistically, we're probably going to be dropping the engine, taking the head off, getting that machined, and then uh, putting it all back together. 
Once we've dealt with the coolant issue, then we can go into some of the, you know, ergonomics and things. I do want to get some rear sets for this. And I have heard some issues with ground clearance, so this pipe might not actually stay. It depends on how aggressive we're getting with it. But uh, yeah, first things first, we're going to sort the engine. I'm going to get it up and running on the street and do all the mods so that I can test it around locally, not going too crazy on it, before I start turning it into a track machine. This will ultimately just be a track bike, I'm thinking. I, I don't ride on the street that much, but it's nice to actually be able to run up and down the block without, you know, huffing out to a track to do some testing. I'm not sure when the waifu livery is going to go away. It's probably going to be gone as soon as I start tearing into this. I'm super excited to get back in the garage and start making new videos, especially about the RC390. So during the downtime between videos, I was working on some things like a new logo and actually some merchandise. So I do have some t-shirts and some stickers on Teespring, and I'll link that down in the description if you want to check it out. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to like the videos. That's how I kind of gauge what you guys are interested in. Subscribe if you want to see some more stuff in the future. And oh, we're almost going to hit 200 uh, subscribers coming up, which is kind of crazy. I didn't think we'd ever get that far. It's just me messing around in the garage, and it's... I don't know, it's a lot of fun for me. And it's been kind of crazy to see all the interactions, the comments and everything that you guys leave. Uh, feel free to post some comments down below. Um, I read every one of them, good, bad, anywhere in between. Thanks for hanging out with me in the garage. I'll see you on the next one.